Stonehenge represents one of man's first attempts to order his view of the outside world. Stephen Gardner This world holds many mysteries, but perhaps none are so baffling as this seemingly simple pile of rocks sitting two miles west of Amesbury in the UK. Stonehenge is a tremendously ancient monument, which has better withstood the test of time than any man-made creation to come after it. Despite the several pieces that were chipped off during Victorian times. All the same, however, nearly everything about the monument is a mystery. Who created Stonehenge? Why was it made? And perhaps most importantly, how was it built? While we may not have the answer to all these questions, recent studies have unlocked a few of the construction's mysteries. For instance, it's known that Stonehenge was created sometime in between 2000 and 3000 BC and that it went through three distinct phases. The first Stonehenge was made of chalk and the second was made of tinder. It is believed that during this time Stonehenge served as a burial site for cremated individuals. Some 400 years are said to have passed before the burial site was taken down and replaced with the stone monoliths we know today. Again, no one is sure why the reconstruction took place. However, it's clear that the new monument was far more important than its predecessor and far larger. One peculiarity about Stonehenge that really stands out is the construction materials. Stonehenge's creators whoever they may be, didn't simply use nearby materials for the monolith's construction, as was common in those days. Rather, most of the stones used were blue stones, shipped from a quarry at least 240 kilometers away. Considering that this project took place during the Bronze Age, this must have been an absolutely massive undertaking. The logistics alone mean that this product could have taken decades if not generations to complete. That is not the only peculiarity concerning these stones either. Expert analysis has shown that many of the stones used in the monument's constructions are lithophones, otherwise known as singing rocks. Lithophones can be struck in certain ways to produce musical tones and have been attributed to mystical healing powers since time immemorial. This furthers the claims by some that Stonehenge was a place of healing and was used by the ancients as a place of refuge and recuperation. However, there are many other theories concerning the purpose of Stonehenge. For instance, some believe that the entire site was created as a testament to peace and unity, a physical representation of the cultural unity sweeping across the prehistoric British Isles. Others argue that Stonehenge was constructed on behest of some druidic organization to be used for ancestor worship and other ritualistic purposes. Still another side argues that humanity had little to do with the construction of the site and that Stonehenge is living evidence of otherworldly meddling. The last idea has lost some of its validity, however, due to the recent finding of Timberhenge Radar signs showed the existence of what appeared to be an enormous superhenge buried just two miles away from Stonehenge itself. Archaeologists believed the very existence of this discovery to have solved the purpose of Stonehenge. It was part of a massive Neolithic temple, most of which had long since been buried. Unfortunately, the reality of the situation turned out to be quite different. The radar was misinterpreted as an expedition in 2016 showed that there was no second larger Stonehenge buried underground. Instead, archaeologists found a series of timber posts. The posts are believed to have been intended to be part of a half kilometer long circle of protruding posts around Stonehenge. Smaller circles have been seen around temple areas near Stonehenge meaning that the area could have been meant to serve some religious purpose. Further excavation shows, however, that the project was quickly abandoned, with many of said posts having been purposely removed. So, 
what was at first thought to be an answer has instead become another mystery. A mystery that may never be solved. Unfortunately, it's beginning to look like the door to the truth of Stonehenge will remain forever closed to us. At least, if the United Kingdom government has its way. In January of 2017, plans were released and greenlighted by the UK government to build a four-lane highway under Stonehenge. This highway, intended for the purposes of reducing traffic, is certain to have an incredible archaeological cost and will likely annihilate any hope humanity has of learning the wisdom this site could share.